Good morning, Panthers. My name is Santiago, and you're watching Panther TV. Link crew meets today at the school room 7103, and also, Link Crew is now accepting applications for the 2022 and 2023 school year. English recovery meets tomorrow after school at room 6203. Get your food handlers card in room 5103. They meet Wednesdays morning at 6.30 a.m. and Friday after school. Peer Panthers is a new club meeting next year. Go to room 1108 for more information. Here's your question of the week. Right. I'm here with Victoria and the question is what's your favorite clothing brand? Uh, I don't have a favorite clothing brand. I just look whatever looks appealing. I just get whatever looks appealing. All right. I'm here with Ignacio de la Cruz and the question is what's your favorite clothing brand? Uh, my favorite clothing brand right now is going to be like Vans. They're nice shirts, simple shirts. I like monochrome colors. Mm -hmm. They feel like it makes a really good outfit. Mm -hmm. So. That's, that's pretty much it. You like the shoes too? I love their shoes. Yeah. Simple skating shoes. I used to skate, but not anymore. But it's fun. I love their shoes. All right, I'm here with Adam. And the question is, what's your favorite clothing brand? H&M. Um, Why? Uh, that's what I got on right now. Uh, do I look good? Yeah. Yeah. E exactly. <laughs> I'm here with Martin. My name is Martin. Yeah. And the question is, what's your favorite clothing brand? Puma. Yeah. Why? Because he got the panther, Arr, aggressive panther, that's why. I'm here with Michael Gonzalez. And the, question, and, the, and the question is, what's your favorite clothing brand? All right, so my first favorite clo clothing brand is obviously NSP. And then my second favorite, well, is Independent, because I'm wearing a shirt and I'm wearing a belt. So, I mean, I have like three more shirts of them too. So you already know it's my favorite, man. All right. Here with uh, Eddie Sotelo. And the question is, what's your favorite clothing brand? You know, pro club or no club, you know, got, and you know, my other favorite brand is uh, Levi's, and yeah. Unified PE is next year. Go to room 101 for more information. Photo Factory meets today in room 4204. Hey seniors, make sure to order your graduation lace from the PHS Floral. Make sure to order online. Uh, trying to learn, uh, trying to learn the, how to say things because I get, I get a bit, uh, stressed when I say them. For the future, uh, plan to go to college, I don't know, study some engineering, coding engineering, and that's pretty much it. La clasificación para mí es que estoy un paso más adelante para poder cumplir mis metas, para poder graduarme y para poder ir al colegio. One of my academic uh, goals for the future is that I want to go to college, I want to study criminology, and I really want to learn more English. Hi, my name is Claudia Claseca. Uh, reclassification means to me is that I am now considered both bilingual in Spanish and in English. I think it's important for not only now, but for your future as well. So if you wanted to get a job or anything like that, you would be able to both know Spanish and English. Challenges were that I, since I had to have the academic English class, I couldn't get both of my electives, so I could only get one of my electives. Academic goals and for my careers is I want to go to either a college or a university, so either two year or four year, and be able to get um, to be a get into nursing program so that I can become a labor and delivery nurse. Some more of advice that I would give them is to take their time, to not rush the test because that test is actually really important, and to also don't overthink the questions. Answer it and to answer it the best to the best of your ability. That's all we have for today, Panthers. We'll see you next time.